Hey, hey, what's up everybody? It's Warboss Tay up in this mode, and uh, I do my official introduction later. But I just wanted to show you how the finished transfers look because I, I did not end the video with these guys. I only show you what the transfer sheet looks like. So here is my test model, my pre-heresy warhound of the 12th Legion, which will later become the World Eaters, which uh, as everybody knows, turns to chaos. And I just wanted to show you what the transfers look like. So if you look at the Warhound's um, entry in the book Betrayer, or Betrayal, I mean, or in the, the Forge World book Betrayal, or in the, if you just Google Warhound's 40K and uh, you come up with the artwork, there's a guy in Crusade, or is it Crusade era? Yeah, Mark II armor. I don't remember what the, the name of it is called. So uh, this guy looks pretty close to it. And I tried to copy the Legion markings, like the Hound on the left shoulder, the um, squad designation on the right, and the little Warhound head here on the belt buckle. So I'm really happy with the way it came out. I used the Microsol and Microset. Awesome transfer tools for putting on decals and transfers. Uh, there are a lot of videos out there already on how to use those, but if you'd like to see me do one, I've been kind of tossing it around in my head, but a lot of people have done it already, so let me know if you want to see me do a transfer video. But anyways, this is an unbooking of the transfer sheet you get from Forge World, and I, I really love it. I love the way it looks, I love how much you get with it. It's a little bit pricey, but uh, I think it's well worth it, especially if you're building a pre-heresy legion. Like this, I think uh, Sons of Horus has one. I know Death Guard has one. Hopefully they'll be releasing more because I, I think it's great. All right, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of this video. What up, players? It's Wall Boss Tay up in this mug. Welcome to my messy, messy gaming area. Today we've got an un... I guess I'll call it an unboxing. It's not, it doesn't come in a box, but holy cow. It's the Forge World transfer sheet for the World Eaters pre-heresy. So this is uh, back when they were, or, or heresy era, the, anything that, if you want to call it, just pre-chaosified. Turn off my lamp, we don't really need that. There we go. Okay, so um, this is, what a fantastic product. I, I love these giant transfer sheets. Um, you only need like one or two for your whole army. I can't see how you would need um, any more. but. Let me take you through what they have. You can't really see the white designs here, so I'll kind of describe what they are. And um, and then, yeah, let's see what that is. First, I've got my little pre-heresy Warhound. Not World Eater, but Warhound. And um, what I notice, which I actually love, is that these guys have Warhound transfers. Oh my god, that is fantastic. So, when you look at the, um, in Betrayal, the Forge World Horus Heresy book, on his uh, belt buckle, instead of an Imperial Eagle, which the Forge World kits come with, they have one of these little dog heads, Warhound heads. So we're gonna use that. I'm also gonna use one of these insignia for his shoulders. But um, yeah, let's, let's, let's go through and see what, what we have here. And I'll uh, zoom in. Just wanted to give you the size of the scope of it. Okay, so you've got these skulls with wreaths, and you can kind of see that the whites are just the same uh, design, but on, on white instead of this dark red. Uh, what looks like the Black Templar, or the, the Templar's Cross. Assault squads, or assault squads, tactical squad. What is this? Devastator. I don't remember all my markings. Is this technical squad? Yeah, I, I don't remember what they all stand for, but you also get these. I have no idea what these are. And, um, oh, it could be those uh, Rampager squads that are very specific to the to the world eaters, maybe? I don't know. Markings that might go instead of on the shoulder pad, like on the belt buckle or on the knee pad or on the leg. 12 for the 12th Legion the uh, world eaters jaws that go around the world but they didn't have the world uh, the little globe in the center it was just these iconic um, stylized jaws closing down really cool looks like a looks like a, a dog or, or a wolf chains here 
Warhound insignia chains and they have it in gold too, this kind of reflective gold along with the red and the, the larger sizes are for uh, vehicles so you have that option and of course you've got all of these Warhound insignias or uh, War World Eater insignias but just an amazing amount I haven't counted them out but like definitely enough to do like if you get one of these it would probably be enough for a very good sized amount of your infantry and vehicles so for for me I give it a plus thumbs up a plus plus all the way I, I was able to get this off of eBay unfortunately there's a lot of um, song and dance you have to do here to get Forge World to accept the the credit card that I have so um, between my bank and my credit card and it's just a, a lot of work so what I do is I I get stuff from eBay instead and some guy was selling this along with the Sons of Horus transfer sheet and I thought oh, I'll pick it up it's a, at a great price and and um, and I love it so I'm gonna be using it for my little my little uh, project pre-heresy guy here as well as for the uh, diorama that I've got with D and Project One Gaming. So stay tuned to see how those turn up and uh, leave any comments. Do you like these transfer sheets? Uh, have you used them? What, what's been your experience with them? Are they worth it? Uh, do you not? I'm not gonna list the price because I don't, I don't wanna get in trouble, um, but you could check forgeworld.co.uk to see how much they're charging and see if it's worth it for you. It's about the box, the size, or, or the cost of um, a combat squad, maybe? The little box with five Space Marines, I want to say. Uh, if you want to get it straight from Forge World, not including shipping. So, I don't know. Let me know what you think. Is it worth it? Is it not? I think it is just because they don't only do it in this great dark red color, but you get this reflective gold as well. And I think I've seen some of these on the uh, jet bikes that they had Forge World was selling too, so. I love it, and uh, hope you guys enjoyed this little unboxing. Latest players!